Yo, what's up, guys? It's Pi Eagles here, the Crypto Pie. And today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin because Bitcoin will indicate what the market is doing, guys. And I mean, honestly, uh, I have no clue where to go with this count because we currently have to look at it. And I mean, if we zoom out, right? Yes, uh, we do have a very big resistance here at 80, basically at this top here, right? At about $8,478 on BitMEX. Um, and if we look a bit further here on the top, we, I mean, you see another assist here at $9,970. However, if I just take a Fibonacci from swing low to swing high, we have a negative 236 at $9,645 all the way. So um, I would say we can definitely put in a zone here, right? Um, we, we definitely have some kind of zone going on uh, right here for a resistance, guys, all right? That's definitely a resistance zone because that's from the negative 236 all the way up to basically this, uh, you know, this, this end point. I mean, if I drag this out, this is what you have, right? So that is the resistance I'm looking at if we do break out. And uh, if we zoom in a little bit, actually, before we do that, um, I, I currently count it as this one, two, three, four. However, this doesn't necessarily need to be the five yet. So the five can still go up a little bit higher right because if i start sub counting this um and we, we do this right now guys we're gonna do this right now um then i could see maybe this is a one two right this is a three we got your four and then, then you know a five maybe right uh i'm not saying that is the count um but it, it could it could very well happen so let, let's make it yellow here let's make it sub minuet so it's a little smaller um, so the yellow one is a small account from this last wave. That could be um, that what we're looking at. Because when we zoom in, guys, let's zoom in here. Um, and you can see here, basically, right? Look at the blue box. Look at this blue box. This is a ascending triangle. Normally, an ascending triangle breaks out to the upside, right? So that is what we're going to expect is a breakout to the upside okay right now um if you are in a trade you will need to have your stop loss yes guys i'm talking about stop loss because stop loss is very important right you need to have your stop loss under this level okay that i'm marking right here um that is because that is a previous pivot point right that's a previous low that's a higher low than this low so you can see guys this is a lower low then you got a higher low right um that is just how it goes uh you got a higher low so that is what an ascending triangle looks like right you got higher lows and then you got almost previous tops like i say almost because some people will also see it as some kind of uh uh symmetrical triangle right uh, because the the, the 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 highs are getting a little bit lower sure but not a lot lower so i like to see it as an ascending triangle because that is litchy. I mean, it doesn't need to be exact, guys. But um, it, it looks quite nice, right? It looks quite nice for still another breakout to the upside. Now, what could also happen, and we need to be very aware of, is that you could get something like this, guys, right? I'm going to take my arrow tool because we might start pumping up here. And then we're going to get a rejection, okay? That is still possible, okay? Uh, that we that sends us right back down to the 38 to of course not in one go like I draw here But that we, we have two options there, right? We have two options once we get close to that Resistance point which in my opinion is even a little higher than the highs that we went to before because remember this blue line that comes Yes, that comes all the way from um, Back in here, right our highs back here in um, uh, July in 2018 that is when we had almost similar highs. So that is where it comes from, guys. So we can either go down there, right? Or what we get is we go up, right? Um, into this zone. And I do think that if we do hit this zone, then we will get some kind of rejection. Okay. So that is just what I'm seeing right now on Bitcoin. Because th that, that just makes the most sense to me, right? Um, that we either, we're going to break out. Uh, since it's an ascending triangle, I do have to favor that part. Um, but I'm also very well aware 
that if it doesn't work out, then the five ways we're in um, and we simply will go down, right? Um, that is uh, just the, the, the very simple gist, you know, gist of, the, of, of this, this analysis. So, um, yeah, right now, my stop is definitely under here, guys, because that will be a lower low. If this sets up to be a new low and we go higher, then we can put our stop under here, right? And of course, uh, we, we keep in locking more and more and more profit, the more higher lows we make. So uh, that is currently what I'm looking at, guys. Very simple, right? Nothing, nothing fancy. Um, I mean, you might think that the Elliott Wave are a bit fancy, but that's literally what I'm looking at. Uh, we already bounced once from the 236. Yes, I know a wick went down to the 382 on, um, I think it was on Bitstamp and Bit, uh, Bitmax makes use of Bitstamp. So on, uh, you know, it's part of the, how, how the, the price, how, how it's priced, right, on, on Bitmax. So on Bitmax, we also went down to the 382. Uh, we hit it to the tick and then it went right back up. So um, if we do go down, guys, where am I looking to, to, to buy back in, right? Of course, I'll get stopped out with some profit. And then where am I looking to buy back in? Um, that Well, that, that, that would definitely be at this, this 38.2 to 0.5 range uh, right now. Right, that is where I'll be looking to buy back in. Uh, that, that's an opportunity of a lifetime. I do not think we'll go all the way to the 618. However, it's possible, right? It's possible that we go all the way down here. And if we do, um, well, it, it's very simple. I'll be already stopped out of this one in order to buy back uh, like lower. Right. Um, technically, our whole buy area is down here. So, um, but of course, that is a bit of a big area. So, I like to just have this. Um, that's that's big enough for me um, to, to start buying. Right. So, I have a plan for both. If we shoot up to the upside, uh, right now I'm still in Bitcoin. So, um, yeah, if we shoot up, that's great. And then, you know, we will probably reject from like 10k area there, um, and then probably go back down to 6k and that will give us a, a a normal you know that's a very normal pullback right 36 37 percent that's very very normal um and of course from here up to there still like about 20 percent so that is what you're looking at right now with bitcoin if it hits about that 9600 to 10k area or uh, you know for it to hit because we do have to acknowledge guys anyone that says like yeah I was a little bit bearish uh, back here, guys. Um, and why is that? I'll go back in the replay. Uh, because when we were here, and, uh, you know, you guys uh, watch me on stream on, on dlive.tv slash pygos. Uh, yeah, of course, I was a bit bearish here. Why? Uh, because we had a double top, right? And I thought, like, okay, we're, we're going back down to six, 6k or something. What did we do? We didn't go back down there, right? We, f we fell, and basically, we made a higher low. So after you see that, you just got to be bullish, guys. You got to be bullish um, because that's a higher low, right? Um, as long as we keep making higher lows, I stay bullish. When we make, <laughs> very, very simple, guys. When we make a lower low than this, I'll be bearish, right? Uh, it, 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 it's, it's that simple, guys. Right? You don't need to make it rocket science. Just play the chart as, as you see fit, okay? Um, that, that is honestly the, the, the best thing I can tell you right now. Um, play the chart as you see fit. Now, I know there's some people that say like, okay, so if you're not in um, or, or if you took profit, you cannot get back in because it's very risky here. Uh, you know, I have to agree at some point. However, uh, guys, I mean, if you got in at, at, at these lows, right? Uh, so when they drop back down, uh, you technically need to put your stop here. So you're risking about 6, 6.3%. Um, to make a gain of um, 22%. So you still have a 3.55 risk reward, okay? Um, a lot of people will not tell you this, but that is a great risk reward. And uh, if you follow my DLive trading school on over on DLive, you know that for your risk reward and your win rate, you simply do, guys, you, 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 you will simply do one divided by 4.55, right? You do basically plus the one right and it will tell you what your win rate is that you need to have in order to make a, a, a win out of multiple positions if you always uh you know target around uh, three to one so 
yeah, that is, uh, I mean, it's great, guys. You only need to win 25% of the time if you have higher, if you have a 3 to 1. So, guys, you know, take it with what you want. But I think it's still a good opportunity uh, because you, we are in an ascending triangle. Now, of course, will I tell you to buy? I mean, that's up to you. But you definitely need to have your stop very tight on the last low. Uh, and if this proves to be a low, well, guess what? You can have your stop very, like, you know, you will put your stop here. And you lock in even more profit if you got in earlier. Um, if you got in right now, you might have to stop very close to break even. So you are basically in a trade that, you know, it's just a win-win situation. And that is what you want to be in. So, um, yeah, that is basically my update on Bitcoin right now. Wait for that 9600 uh, to 10 k level if we break out. That is where I really start to think about, you know, taking your profit if this breaks out to the upside. However... Keep also in mind, guys, that we can get up here, get that fake out, and then go down, right? So that is uh, something that could happen as well. Um, so I think that's the two scenarios, right? You have a breakout scenario, and you have a breakdown scenario. And that's it. That's very simple, guys. That's trading for you, okay? Don't make it more complicated than it is. And uh, that's pretty much it, right? Also, guys, I have a Telegram group. Uh, join up with the CryptoPies block where you can ask me any questions. Where you can ask other people questions and you know it's just a great chat box to be in right let's see what's going on in here uh obviously a lot of people from the life has joined the telegram group as well i also have a discord group but you can only i mean you can kind of see that when you go to my d live uh it's in my d live about section uh you know so it, it's up to you if you want to join that so yes uh coin farm online is back on and i see a lot of people are short and that's completely fine um that just gives more fuel for the power if we do break out because those are big wheels, okay? Um, so, yeah, am I trading against them right now? Yes, I am, because we are in the ascending triangle, and that's what I'm seeing. So I see kind of like a breakout possibility. And also, we know that that doesn't, uh, like, update, like, in real time, right? So since it doesn't real update in real time, uh, yeah, we, we simply don't know that uh, they are still in their short as well, right? Uh, so... It's definitely a bit lagging information, but it's it's cool to see nonetheless. So thanks for updating us on that, Mohamed. Um, also, guys, join up with the CryptoPies feed where I post my videos, post about upcoming ICOs, STOs, and of course, I'll tell you when I go live and I'll also post about IEOs if there are any. Um, however, I don't really post about too much because you can simply see it on Binance. They are all on Binance, guys. You just go to the launch pad and you will see when there's a new one. So um, IEOs right now are very profitable. However, keep in mind that uh, it's very hard to get in, right? It's, it's almost like a lottery. So it's almost like a lottery, guys. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, um, yeah, I, I always post when I go live on DLive. Obviously, I go live a lot every day, guys. Every day I go live on DLive. We play games, we chart, we uh, live trade. Uh, we, you know, we, we do the whole shiblank. So yeah, join up with that. Also, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys, all right? That's pretty much that. Um, yeah. So, both telegrams will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that post notification button. And if you've got any questions at all, leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.